Famon sedan, the Famon wagon, the Famon gear sedan, the Famon gear ESP, the Falcon utility, the Falcon GL utility, the Falcon van, and the Falcon GL van. In the XE series, uh, Ford also differentiated the Fairmont gear sedans from the base Fairmont models by equipping them with a unique front styling feature, which uh, incorporated wider headlamps that were uh, offered with integrated <laughs> driving lamps. Quite a nice touch. There was also a new version of Ford's S-Pack option that was available for the Falcon GL sedan and wagon, and also the uh, Falcon Ute and the van and they were all then badged Falcon S. While there was a new version of the European Sports Pack ESP option, which also was available on the Fairmont Gear sedan. The XE ESP was available with the 4.1 litre six cylinder engine, the 4.9 litre V8, and the 5.8 litre V8. Uh, obviously once the V8s were dropped, you could also get the fuel injected uh, six cylinder 250 cubic inch 4.1 litre engine. During this period, Ford also achieved uh, market leadership over Holden, becoming the number one selling car, and this actually remained in place until 1988. Ford also achieved overall passenger car leadership during this period. From a motorsport point of view, Dick Johnson won the 1984 Australian Touring Car Championship behind the wheel of uh, Group C specification XE Green's Tough Falcon. The XE Falcon range was also the recipient of the Australian Design Award. Limited edition models also followed, which included a GL-based Falcon X-Pack sedan and wagon in late 1982, the Fairmont Gear limited edition sedan in late 1983, and then there was a GL-based Falcon Eclipse sedan and wagon in early 1984. They uh, featured a two-tone uh, exterior paint treatment. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you